Hi guys, Namaste. Namaste. How Namaste. you are doing? Great. Very well. I watched the premiere and the series is looking like a fine wine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> As it is progressing, we are enjoying it more. Shalat, first question. Uh, three women directors have directed it. Yes. A big budget series. Yes. So, was it difficult because, you know... Why would it be difficult for women I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm... You've yeah. given the answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was easy. It was all set? Yeah. I mean, all smooth? Yeah. Great. Seriously. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you were given a powerful ring, a ring of power, what would you change? What would I change? Well, I'd certainly hope for more world peace. Um, but I also think that one of the things that we're exploring in season two and also that Tolkien explores over the sort of whole course of his literature is just, you know, th these rings are very powerful tools and you have to be careful what you wish for. And sometimes the intention behind the, the creation of something isn't always how people use it. And so these things can be used to manipulate. They can... They can to destroy. Uh, yeah, to destroy. They can corrupt people. Um, they can change people. Um, so I think it's like, you know, obviously there's a way to ask where it's playful, but when you're really th sitting and thinking about, like, well, if you had something so powerful, would you use it? Would you know how to use it? Would it, it, would it sort of get away from you? And I think these are all really fascinating things that, that we're exploring, and I think a lot of the characters are literally confronted with those exact questions. So it's going to be really interesting, I think, for the audience to see with certain uh, characters what happens when they do have those rings in their possession and how do they use them? Yeah, very exciting to see. If you are the last king of this universe, what is the last thing you will do? What is the last thing I would do if I was a king of this universe? The last king. Um, if I, of this universe that yes. we're in now, yes? Yes, this universe. Uh, um, I guess I would, I, I would keep British cuisine, but I would, I would add to it and I would add more Indian cuisine because that's all I've eaten since I've been here. I would throw massive banquets. I think of tandoori chicken and, uh, yeah, and the like because I've just stuffed myself since I've, uh, since I've come here, to be honest, and it is so tasty. Yeah. How important is writing of a project and will you prefer superstars or performers? I prefer performance and the writing is really important to me, but uh, I, on this project and very often I work with a writer and I choose the script that clicks with me, that tells me something that I feel has a meaning to it. And this is a fantastic project to work on. How comforting was it to be working with Shalom? I love working with Charlotte. And I'm not just saying that because we're sitting here. Um, uh, Charlotte reminded me that we had our very first day together in season one. And, and when we were filming in New Zealand, it was such an intensive time and you sort of thrust into things very quickly. And I think what you ultimately want as an actor is trust. You have to know that you can trust your director, that they're, they're guiding you, and that you have the opportunity to try things. Sometimes they might not work, but you have to know that you have the safety at, that you're exploring together and collaborating and Charlotte's the ultimate collaborator but also she has this incredible vision so it's like I'm always excited to to watch what ultimately we've created you can always sort of be critical of your own work but I think that what you guys are going to see in season two that that Charlotte's done is is genuinely incredible and I can add to that as well uh, because season two was my first time to work with Charlotte yeah. And I had seen these incredible episodes in season one that Charlotte had, had directed that I wasn't in. And uh, yeah, I was, I was starstruck. <laughs> I really was. I don't mean to, you know, sorry, blow smoke or anything. But yeah, so I was bouncing to get to work with her. So yeah, it was um, yeah, a really big privilege. Is she strict? Strict? No, she's um, she's just absolutely wonderful. It's a joy. It's a joy to be on set and to, to absolutely crack on with the work. You know, we're, we're there to like honor this world. And yeah, it's just a, it was a joy. I think it's that thing you want a director to have a clear vision. So you want to feel like they're not waffling or sort of uncertain that there is a certainty and a clarity because you need to, again, you need to know and have that safety and trust that, okay, hey, we, we all know that we're on the same page. But it's always a conversation too because everybody's sort of contributing their part. And you want to feel like the conversation is coming from a very thoughtful place because this work is so dense and rich. So everything is really thought through. There's never sort of anything sort of 
arbitrary about what we're doing. There's a long thought process going into everything. Mm. Is there any Indian actor you would love to direct? Many, I think. I would love to work, I mean, all together, I would love to work in India. It's a place where I've never been. And uh, I've been looking at various Indian books. And one film I would have loved to have directed is City of Joy. Oh, great. Uh, it was such a big film. So we hope a lot of the rings, Indian version is also made. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Name can be different and we are so yeah. looking forward to it. It's yeah. a visual spectacle. The first two episodes are mind blowing and I'm looking forward that I get the screeners, I get to see them first. <laughs> yeah, you will be getting to see Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And all the very best. It was lovely yeah. talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.